from the Sutton and Epsom Advertiser, Thursday, 4th of July, 1935. Cockroach plague, slipper and flat iron attack at Mitcham. Cockroaches an inch and a half long and as thick as a man's finger have been making raids on houses in Lammas Avenue, Mitcham, every night for weeks past. Some are smaller, but size is not important. It is the thousands of the plague that matter. The cockroaches assemble in the street after dusk, enter the front gardens, soon run up the stucco fronts of the houses and do their best to enter. They also attack the houses from the rear. The nightly visitation has become such a menace that the residents have had to turn out with electric torches and swat the pests with slippers, flat irons, mallets and anything else that would do the job with dispatch. It has been a messy and nasty business and the hunters are getting tired of the sport. Sometimes they don't get to bed before two in the morning. Mr. A.J. Martin, of 109, told the advertiser, The cockroaches, for the most part, come from somewhere at the back of Lammas Avenue, but many hundreds come up through crevices in the street between the concrete roadway and the curb. The drain heads are often crowded with them. No window can be left open, and we are almost stifled by the heat. Bands of us twenty strong attack the beastly things and they keep us busy for hours. Mr. George Hoare of 105 has had to protect the open windows at the top of his flat with wire screens. If we open the front door at night, the cockroaches are up the stairs in a jiffy, he said. I have had to line the door jams to keep them out. While the advertiser man was talking to a neighbor, Mr. C.J. Shepherd of 107 was burning a bucket full of the insects in his back garden. Counselors on the spot. On Thursday night, Councillors Dalton and East visited the plague spot and saw for themselves that the householders had not exaggerated the nuisance. I have never seen anything like it, Mr. Dalton told the advertiser. The fronts of a number of the houses seemed to be black with cockroaches and they were running over the pavement in all directions. We saw them popping up through the concrete too. I understand that the medical officer of health and the sanitary department are taking every possible action to put an end to a nuisance that may also be a serious menace to health. Dr. Till and Mr. C.G. Rabbits have paid several visits to Lammas Avenue when the cockroaches have been on the warpath, and on Saturday night they poured paraffin into the street crevices, but the plague will have to be attacked at the source. Meanwhile, the Public Health Committee are considering the matter and the steps to be taken to stamp out the plague. The harassed householders see the humorous side as well. They call their nightly hunt the charge of the night brigade. From the Croydon Times, Saturday 12th August, 1939. Hawker tells PC he is like Hitler. You are like Hitler, is what a Mitchum Hawker was alleged to have said to a policeman who stopped him for being drunk in charge of a barrow. At Croydon County Police Court on Tuesday, the clerk asked the constable, you do not agree, do you, that you are like Hitler? No, sir, replied the officer. The constable, Thomas Redfern, said he saw the defendant, William George Norman, 59, Marion Road, Mitcham, zigzagging about Lammas Avenue, Mitcham, on Saturday night with a barrow. After turning into another road, he fell to the ground. He was taken into custody, and at the police station, a doctor was called at defendant's request. Norman told the court he was sorry and said such a thing would not happen again. He was fined two shillings and sixpence and told to pay seven shillings and sixpence doctor's fee from the Sutton and Epsom Advertiser, Thursday, 7th of November, 1957. Purse presented by May Queen. A purse containing a cheque for 15 pounds was handed to Lady Ismay for the Church of England Children's Society by the May Queen of Mitcham on Monday. The May Queen, Grace Dadswell, of Lammas Avenue, went up to the Albert Hall for the ceremony, when many societies handed over money to the society's fund for waifs and strays.